Hello and welcome to SCLD, the podcast. I'm Jane Baker. And I'm Mary Ellen Brax. And we are here to talk about things going on at the Spokane County Library District this week. We have some online story times happening this week on Thursday, January 27th at 6.30 p.m. And on Friday, January 28th, and that's at 9.30 a.m. These people are all your team, right, Mary Ellen? That's right. Mm -hmm. So we have Cindy and Tammy, Rachel and Christy, who all do the online story times right now. So you could get any combination of the two that will be there. It just depends on work schedules and who's available that day. But we enjoy it. It's one of our favorite parts of the week is being able to do the story times. It's my my favorite, too, to watch. Um, I know we post these on uh, Facebook and mm-hmm. also YouTube, and they're so much fun to watch. And I don't get to go to story times in in our past normal times, Correct. you know, because I was always busy working. But now I can tune in anytime I want and, and hear the story. And they do such a great job. Yes. What fun. Mm-hmm. What fun. And they record these, those here at the studio. And that's where we are today, the studio at the Spokane Valley Library. Mm-hmm. So great. Also coming up this week, we have a Medicare 101 program. And this is for people who are new to Medicare or maybe need a refresher on all the things that are available. This is unbiased uh, information. Nobody's trying to sell you anything. And um, it's great. It is on Wednesday, January 26th from 6 to 8 p.m. You have to register. The program is online and you have to register online. And you can do that at scld.org. So that's Medicare 101. We also have STARS training coming up on January 29th. And that is the reason Mary Ellen is here. We're going to talk about STARS training. Uh, Mm -hmm. This is something we've been doing for quite some time and not not everyone is familiar with Mm -hmm. with it. Um, What is STARS? So STARS training is the um, state registry system for the Department of Children, Youth, and Families. So basically, we do STARS trainings for child care providers, but parents are welcome. Anybody who works with young children are welcome to attend. And so for the child care providers, preschool teachers, they all get credit um, for attending the class. And so it was a process that we went through to be certified as trainers and then we're able to give these trainings for free, which um, is can be a big help for some of our child care providers um, that there are free trainings that are offered. So we base most of ours on literacy, of mm-hmm. course. Sure. Um, but then we do things like STEM and literacy, and um, we might do movement and literacy. So we tie everything back to the literacy component, but really for early childhood education, it's all meshed up together. It's really one big thing. It's, you know, math and science, engineering, math, the literacy piece, the movement, um, the social emotional aspect all go in together and they, and they all interconnect. So it's kind of a fun thing for us to be able to do too, is to share all our resources with our teachers and childcare providers. So the the classes are free, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah. but they get credit. So like mm-hmm. a like school, like in college, how you get credit? Right. So like you get one credit for every hour. So we um, typically do our classes to be two credits and up. Um, we occasionally do a three credit. We have a, on occasion done a four hour class. Wow. Um, but right now with it being online, we're doing mostly two credit classes. Mm. And so some of the classes may have some pre-work that we ask you to do. Mm-hmm. And so that can be, um, you know, we're directing them to other resources to take a look at. So uh, we have um, our best picture books of 2021 coming up at the end of January, oh, uh, January 29th. Mm-hmm. And so for that one, we have a half an hour where they'll actually watch a picture book chat that we, that Sherry Boggs and I filmed together talking oh, about the fun. picture books. And mm-hmm. then they'll get to um, tell us, would they use one of those books with their kiddos or um, would they, and why would they use it if they picked it out? And so we'll discuss that. So it gives people a lot of different ideas on how to use the books. If somebody says, oh, I might use this one for, um, to introduce a unit on STEM, somebody else might say, oh yeah, that would be great for using it with blocks or um, using it with um, estimation. So um, it gets um, some 
ideas flowing for people on how to use the same book in different ways. Too. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. it is really fascinating. You know, Mary Ellen is the uh, the expert here at the library district on uh, early childhood literacy, and it is always amazing how I continue to learn things from you. So, Stars is great for um, child care providers, mm -hmm. but if you're a parent too, yes. uh, young mm -hmm. children, mm -hmm. and maybe need some ideas and help. And right, um, because we oftentimes relate it back to different activities that you can do with kiddos. So, mm -hmm. um, and it's great if you want, if you really want to work on um, helping to get your child ready to start kindergarten, they could be um, a good thing to take if you wanted to do a little bit more of, yeah, that's STEM, you know, that's not my, you know, I just don't know what what I should be doing with them to talk about it. But we talk about what vocabulary you can use. And we often point out you're oftentimes doing STEM and you don't even know it. So mm -hmm. um, a mom may say, oh, well, I've been cooking and we've been measuring. And that's ex that's STEM right there. Sure. We've been measuring out the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Or they might be on a walk out in nature and they're kind of looking at all the things around and they're talking about nature. So... That all leads back to that STEM discussion, and that that fits into every everyday life, right? Um, how much? Uh, this is uh, this is a big question. Mm -hmm. How much STEM knowledge should a child have before starting kindergarten? Well, I think the important thing is to be introduced to just introduced to it. You know, we're not asking with anything with math or, you know, but that they, you know, be an expert on their numbers by then. Sure. But just some basic things like do they know their numbers? Can they count from one to ten? Do they know that one plant here is the same if they see the number one? And so oh, wow. um, that one-to-one -one correspondence there. Um, and so, you know, just little things like that. So we're not necessarily saying that they have to know their addition tables or, but, you know, some of the kids do learn pretty quickly if they have three things sitting in front of them and they take one away, now they have two. Mm -hmm. And then you can say, well, that was subtraction. So you can actually start introducing the terminology to them so they, they are familiar with it when they start school. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. That STARS training, I wish that had been something I had done when I, I had a young one at home. Mm -hmm. So much information. And then how often are these STARS programs? I know we have one coming up on January 29th, but mm -hmm. are they monthly? Um, we're doing them about every other month. Okay. Um, we'll probably take a little break during the summer. Mm -hmm. um, we're still trying to get back into our groove, um, being Aren't from in-person <laughs> to online. Um, but the online ones have been nice. We'll probably, even when we go back to in-person, we'll probably do a couple of online ones throughout the year. But we're just mm -hmm. trying to figure out what works, what works best online. And then um, we'll kind of ease back into doing in person at some point mm -hmm. but um but it's been really fun for us to still connect with the teachers and be able to offer the training that's so hard to sometimes find mm -hmm. um so we're we're happy that we can still be doing that and offering that service that's great that's a great service to offer thank you for doing that for spokane county and for the library district and uh if people want to know more information about the stars training you can go to scld.org search the site for stars and uh read about it there. And if they wanted more information, is there another place? Can they contact you through the website or ask any questions? Yeah, they can. Um, there's lots of different places where they can get information about STARS mm -hmm. in general. Mm -hmm. So for those that do um, have a STARS number, they can check Merit, which is the official um, site for the Department of Children, Youth, and Families. They have a registry that you can check what STARS classes are going on. Gotcha. But usually, yeah, if you can give the library a call and they can look us up on the website and they can tell you what STARS classes are coming up. So we usually try to do a couple ahead. Sometimes if you don't see one, it's just that we're kind of in the midst of trying to figure out what would be the best one and who's available to teach. Mm -hmm. But we, those same four people that do our story times, um, also do the stars classes with me. So oh, fabulous. So um, yeah, you get to get to know us pretty well after a little while. Yes, yes. <laughs> Love to watch the story times, and I think I'm going to have to tune into stars now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's great. Thank you for being here and talking about stars 
Mary Ellen, and thank you for doing all of those great programs and helping out parents and children throughout the Spokane County. Excellent work. Oh, thank you. Always and you're excellent. welcome. Happy to be here. All right. Thank you. And if you'd like more information on this or any of the programs mentioned today, scld.org is the place to go. And until next time, have a great week and we'll see you then.